What's up guys, welcome to 4Play, Diggs here, talking you through my A-rank Nergigante deck on the new battle card game, Teppen. Hope you enjoy. So first up, just going to show you a quick overview of the deck. Um, it's based around Nergigante's um, very overpowered hero art, the Spike Launch. Um, so most of the cards you're sacrificing life points to play them to increase the power of spike launch um, and there's a few revenge cards in there as well just so every card you play doesn't cost life so into the first battle here we're speeding it up a little bit um, playing another Nergigante deck which uh, can always be a bit on the tricky side if they're uh, if they're on point with their deck building as well so the uh, the main focus of the deck is to protect your life points from them so you're only really losing life points when you're sacrificing. As you can see here, he uses his spike launch. He's only lost five life points, three of which he sacrificed, so none of my monsters die. Then I use mine. I've sacrificed 15 of my life points, so I destroy both his monsters with ease, and then we're free to uh, to get the damage in. Coming to the end of the, the match here, I thought I had him beat, and he just throws down a quick card to uh, take away the win. Use a magic card to get rid of his card. Now this is a little combo going back and forth where he wants to sacrifice his card to increase his life points. I'm trying to stop it by sacrificing mine to destroy his before he can get the chance. He ends up winning that little duel, sort of, but I end up gaining the life points as well. So nothing ventured, nothing gained. It gets rid of uh, two of his good cards. We both end up with the same thing, getting an extra seven life points, but I've still got a monster on the field to attack with. And then I can put a couple more down to try and get that last win. And I've still got Spike Launch as a win. Didn't, don't manage to get it off in time there. Again, here he goes using his. Kills both my monsters that time. But coming up here is a really, really overpowered card, in my opinion, called Spread Infection. 5 AP or MP. You get 3 monsters, 2 attack, 3 defense with revenge plus one plus two so when they die they go back into your deck as even better cards i think only cost one mp to play after that and they'll have four attack and five life so really good cards here we go he puts three monsters down kills himself but had he not i would have spike launched all of his monsters away and it would have been uh, it would have been game regardless now we move on to a wesker deck here Again, love having that spread infection in your opening hand. You start with 4 MP, only costs 5. So as soon as the match starts, I like to throw it out. Hard to counter in, in your first go for the opponent. And he doesn't like it so much, he just gives up and surrenders. Result on that one. Nice easy win in, in the A ranks. We'll take them every, every time. You see there, 8 5. Moving on to. This guy is playing a Ryu deck. We sped it up a little bit because it's quite a long uh, long battle to begin with. So, because I think Nergigante is so overpowered, people are looking for the best way to counter it. And it seems like the consensus is to build a direct damage Ryu deck. As I say, the point of this deck is to control how many life points your, your opponent is taking away from you. And try and make it that the only life points you're losing is the ones you're sacrificing to increase the power of Spike Launch. But as you can see what this guy's doing here is he's playing cards that deal direct damage. So although I can put down monsters to stop myself losing life points that way, he's still coming in with those those magic cards and sort of knocking away at my life points. And there's, a, there's not really any way for me to stop that, obviously. Dante and Morrigan have cards where you can counter, but not so much on the, on the black decks with Wesker and Nergigante. Still managed to get the spike launch into the ride doing 15 damage with 14 life points left. So he's he's done a little bit of chipping away, but managed to keep spike launch powerful. When, once you're over 15, that's generally pretty powerful. You'll wipe out three monsters most of the time when you're doing 15 damage with it. There he goes again. More more direct damage. As I say, the uh, most of the counters you find to this deck are either people using... Um, the, like a flying increasing the attack power of your monsters combo and then Ryo's hero power being um, the combo giving your monsters combo attacks so you can say flyers are, are the, can be the scourge of this deck if you're not prepared for it there's 
three or four creatures in the deck with flying and obviously magic cards to destroy them and spike launch. Um, but sometimes you can get caught unawares, especially early on when you're still building up your AP for spike launch that can uh, can break through. And if you get low on life points, it can be quite risky. Now the uh, the QR code for this deck is at the end, so feel free to uh, to screenshot that and copy my deck. Enjoy. So get that spike launch off in time. You only got ten health, seventeen damage, easy. Now another thing to watch out for while playing this deck is a lot of the cards, like all those three magic cards that are highlighted there, you need to sacrifice a creature. So you need to make sure that you don't end up with a handful of cards that require you to sacrifice a creature to play and no creatures on the field to sacrifice. You just uh, you yatter lock yourself in uh, anyone's familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh. You end up getting a hand of cards filled with cards that you can't play and you just have to sit there and either surrender or, or wait for your opponent to just chip away till you win. So this is where I start to feel a bit more comfortable. He's got he's used his hero power, he's only got eight AP. I've got twenty six, ready for spike launch as and when, just getting some cards out. Decide to uh just keep hold of spike launch here and use a magic card to get rid of him. It's only four four life, so that'll get rid of that creature nice and easy. Here comes again with direct damage. As I say, he's only got three life points left. Feeling fine on seven. As I say, the revenge, the cards with revenge will start coming out now as well. Cheap to play, don't have to sacrifice life. So you might want to watch that as you start getting down, especially if you're playing Ryu. When you get down to four life points, you don't want to be playing, like I've got two, three, three cards in my hand that require life points to play. Don't want to play them yet, because if he's got another direct damage card, he can finish me off straight away as soon as I play one of those. Getting that spike launch ready in case he tries to sneakily play a creature to stop the last attack, which he does. Get it off in time. 23 damage, no, no way surviving it. And we get the win. So, like I say, guys, QR code's coming up now. Feel free to screenshot it. I'll also put the, the deck code um, just to make life easy. I'll put it as a pinned comment. And there it is. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, let us know in the comments how you do.